the matter He will be starting soon Oh, oh, oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada Where all your dreams come true Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life your favorite stories With a great big smile You won't leave lonely Won't you start all the reading I just can't wait to be hearing Story time with Mr. Lamada He will be starting soon oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada Where all your dreams come true He brings to life your favorite stories With a great big smile, you won't leave lonely Won't you start all the reading I just can't wait to be hearing morning and welcome to story time thank you for joining in happy thursday to you april 1st we're already in april oh my goodness good morning to you and welcome thank you for joining in please remind me where you are and of course let me know who is joining in with you and of course if you're here alone you're still welcome story time is for everybody the young and the young at heart good morning to you and welcome to story time and we are excited today i can feel it i know you're excited too we have the amazing sean harris with us today so please please get ready get your materials ready pencils colored pencils anything that you can find around your table around the house bring it because we will be using that making our art today sean harris will be re leading that for us so thank you for joining in and you are very welcome today good morning to you and of course we're reading a beautiful book a wonderful book indeed perfect for spring have you ever seen a flower and this one is written and illustrated by sean harris multi-talented indeed we we'll welcome him to the show very soon thank you for joining in story time today welcome wherever you're joining in from i am glad you are here good morning to you or is it good afternoon or even good evening depending on where you're joining us in the world where you're joining us from in the world thank you so much for being here and of course we saw my go by and that was of course we're also remembering that it was history women's history month and we got to look at some amazing books but we continue on and we're reading more books today and remember every day should be women's history month we should be commemorating and showing respect all the time so thank you for joining in and please please welcome to story time thank you for joining me today and uh let us see who is with us this morning ready to enjoy ready to make art ready to listen to a beautiful story Welcome to Story Time. Madalena Iron in San Francisco. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining in. And of course, not forgetting the amazing Tudor. Good morning to you. How are you doing today? In San Francisco, Madalena Iron and Tudor. Welcome to Story Time. And good morning to you, Chriselle, out in L. B C Long Beach, California. Good morning to you, Clay Rocco, Grandpa June. I am so glad when you join in story time. Good to see you always. Thank you for being here. Rocco, I'm glad too that your class allows you to be here today. So thank you for joining in. Rocco, Clay, Grandpa June, and Chriselle of Chriselle Bell. Thank you so much for joining in. I'm glad you're here with me today. And of course, as you know, we're joined by the amazing Sean Harris. So please stick around after the reading and join in the artwork that will be happening. Thank you so much. Vundukai in Baltimore. How are you doing today? Good morning to you. And Noctula Nakai, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us today. Glad you're here. Bundukai, I will be giving you a shout very soon, my brother. Good to see you here. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed your days off. Good morning to you. And uh, Amanda Waltman, good morning to you. How are you doing today? Baby Bia, not forgetting you, sweetheart. And Merlin, how are you doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> Merlin, Merlin, how are you doing? I will get it one day, I promise. Thank you for joining in story time. And Amanda, Bia, and Merlin, I really appreciate the effort in trying to get me to say the name correctly. I will practice some more. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you say you're excited about today's reading. Well, you and me both, I am excited. And of course, we have the amazing author right here with us for art later on. So thank you for joining in. Baby Bia, good morning to you. <laughs> Bundukai, one more time. Good morning. Amanda, where's Sarah and Nathan out in Illinois? And you're saying it is frigid Illinois today. Well, we hope we bring you the sunshine. We hope we bring you the spring with Have You Ever Seen a Flower? So many, many, many things happening here today. But of course, we start with a beautiful book. I'll be getting starting with that one very soon. Thank you for joining in, Sarah and Nathan. And of course, Amanda West. And you say both say they are excited to see the famous Auckland YMCA racquetball champion Sean Harris. I think Mark Barnett will have a say about that. <laughs> Good morning to you. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> Steven Maldonado, how are you doing today? Thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. And you say this is a nice intro song. Well, it is done by a very good friend of mine, the Softbox Salute, Tim Dixon from right here in Oakland. He's an educator too. Thank you. I will definitely pass on the word. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Good morning to you, Stephen Maldonado. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Good morning to you, Chris and Mitchell. Thank you for joining in. And of course, Borden, how are you doing today from Burlington, Vermont? Good morning to you. And you're excited for story time. Oh, we all are today. We all are. Thank you so much for joining in and sharing that. Tori Gamble and Liana in sunny Bothell, Washington. Well, enjoy your sunshine today. Thank you so much for sharing a slice of that with us on Storytime today. Definitely, definitely enjoy having you here. Noah, what's up, brother? How are you doing? Good to see you. And of course, Abrima, you. Good morning to you. Thank you. And Lucy, I hope you're doing well too. Thank you so much. I miss you guys. I hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for joining in. And Paul Maldonado, you're saying you're joining in with Baby Maven. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining in, Baby Maven. And it sounds like the first time joining in. Well, welcome to Storytime. Welcome to the Storytime community, and I hope that this is not the last time we get to see you on Storytime. Thank you for being here and joining in. But very soon, we're getting started with our book. And of course, later on, we get to see who else was with us. But the star of the show today, Sean Harris, will be here doing amazing art with all of you. So please gather your materials, get ready for that. But for now, we're going to go and re go ahead and read the story. It is Sean Harris' debut author illustration book. He did everything himself, just like you kids out there. He drew the pictures and wrote the words to this one. So enjoy it. And of course, we're reading it with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Not the first time you've heard me say that and definitely not the last. It has been a great support indeed. Thank you, Eva Zimmerman. I cannot praise you enough. Thank you so much for being here for story time all the time. Well, here we go. Have you ever seen a flower? Written and illustrated by Sean Harris. All right. It has the coolest pictures. I'll let you sock that in for a minute. <laughs> I just take my sleeve off for a second. Ah. Have you ever seen a flower? Written and illustrated by Sean Harris and read with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. And who's that at the corner? Uh huh. Is that how your city looks like? I know Botho is sunny today. <laughs> Have you ever seen a flower? That is the question. <laughs> I mean, really. 
I mean, really seen a flower. <laughs> I want to play in a field like that too. <laughs> I mean, way down in the clover with your face down in a flower. Have you? <laughs> Have you ever seen a flower using nothing but your nose? How do you do that? Well, breathe deep. Try it. <sighs> what do you see? Raindrops made of honey, mm. the knees of bumblebees, a fancy lady, dancing babies at the Royal Jelly Jubilee. What do you see? <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Have you ever seen a flower so deep you had to shout, hello? and listen for an echo just to know how deep it goes. Have you? <laughs> oh. And did you wonder if you wander down between its golden columns and into its corridors, who you might meet? Have you ever wondered? Maybe a tiny queen. <laughs> she doesn't look so tiny, does she? <laughs> mighty, mighty queen. Have you ever felt a flower? Do a flower pet do a flower a flower petals veins feel like the veins? beneath your skin? Have you ever pricked your finger? Ouch. <laughs> or fallen on your knee? Uh, as we are back at playgrounds, we'll be seeing that quite a bit. <laughs> and seeing the brilliant color of life. Happy you. <laughs> Life is inside you. <laughs> oh, you'll be okay. And life is all around you. <laughs> and there's our little friend. Sorry for covering you up. <laughs> Now put your hands, put your hands on your belly and say, this is my stem. This is my stem. How does that feel? <laughs> now sip a drip of water and stand very still. Feel it slip and trickle all the way down to your roots. <laughs> Stand on both feet. Do you feel yourself growing? Do you feel yourself stretching toward the sun? Oh. <laughs> Ready to burst. Stretch. Reach for that sun. <laughs> Ah, and bloom. <laughs> oh, how did that feel? <laughs> Have you ever been a flower? I mean, 
really been a flower. <laughs> and if you were, would you remember? Try and see. <laughs> Please repeat what was done in the book. Reach out. Look at those amazing colors. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. And I took off the sleeve and there's a beautiful picture again inside. And it's, have you ever seen a flower? And like Sean Harris says, have you really, have you seen it? So thank you so much for joining in story time today. That was the beautiful story we had for you from amazing author, illustrator, Sean Harris. And as you can tell, it just left me calm, a certain feeling of calm and just goodness is within me right now. Thank you so much for joining in. And um, I will not waste any more time. I will bring on the amazing Sean Harris. And if you're here with us, I will try to see you and say hi later on, but right now, now, please get your pencils ready and join in conversation. If you have questions for this amazing person, please, please do type them, do send them in, and we'll try and answer some of them. Not all of them, but we'll get to some of them. And also just get ready and enjoy the art with him. At this point in time, I'm calling upon the amazing, multi-talented Sean Harris and many, many books. That name will sound familiar. I know you know him and he is here with us today. What a special honor for story time today. Welcome to the show, Sean Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lamada. Hi, everybody. Mr. Lamada, that was so cool to hear you read my new book. It doesn't come out until May. And so I actually haven't heard anybody read that aloud yet. This is the debut of the read aloud. Oh, on story time with Mr. Lamada. That was so cool. Yeah. Thank, you. No, we, Thank you. Oh, that feels good. That just it it's amazing. It just has that come how what was the inspiration this is so amazing well uh you know i needed a reminder myself um to take off my shoes and take off my socks <laughs> and go and stand in some grass or some dirt or some sand and just look around me and listen and smell and talk to <laughs> nature. It, it uh, is so a I, great... wrote, I wrote the book to remind myself and maybe mm -hmm. some other people like to have that sort of a reminder. Oh, so, it, yeah. it is certainly a reminder for me right now. As I was going through this book, ever since it arrived, I've just been like, oh my goodness. It is like, even just the question itself, have you ever seen a flower? We all see flowers, but have you really? Which was a question that just got me so going. And I was like, yeah, I have I really? And um, yeah, definitely, definitely a um, something that got got me thinking. And thank you for sharing that too. But you've worked in the past with amazing, you know, people. You've brought us books like this one like with your good Barnett. friend. Yeah. <laughs> and then you also brought us this one. So people are familiar with you. But how does it feel to do? Have you ever seen a flower? To make a book by myself, right? Um, to be honest, uh, until I'm here with all of you, it sort of felt like I was talking to myself. So I felt a little bit crazy. But now that it's out in the world, it can be a conversation that we have with friends, and I get to read it aloud and hear it read aloud. And now I'm less lonely than when I work with friends. Yeah, no, it's, so it's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, it's a great book. And I, how long have you been working on it? Um. You know, I worked on, you know, it, it's hard, it's really hard to say because I, I had the idea for the book uh, years ago, but then I did, had to do a lot of experimentation and figure out what style I wanted to draw it with because this is also, aside from being the first book that I wrote and illustrated, it's the first book that I ever made with colored pencils. Um, and I really, I, I knew I wanted to make a book with colored pencils, but it took me a long time to find my style. Yeah. And actually today with you guys, I'm going to show you some of my tricks that I developed <laughs> to make the art in this book. You'll notice it looks a little different than maybe some other work you've seen with colored pencils and I'll show right. you why. Basically. No, it's, yeah. it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, no, this is, and it's just the right, like everything, the colors are so vibrant. I, I promise you, 
find it at your local library when it's out pre-order find it and the pictures are not doing it justice like, <laughs> seeing it in the yeah, flesh I'm seeing a, it in I'm real life camera. like this is just so it's just so amazing but, i had a secret i had a i had a secret tool on this book i used a neon pink pencil mm -hmm. and you can really see the neon pink when you hold the book in front of your face and yeah. i'll tell you why i use the neon pink the neon pink is actually activated by the sun it gets super bright by the sun oh. so when you're holding this book in your house it actually looks better and better the closer you get to a window oh so i wanted it i wanted the book to draw you towards the window, <laughs> the window and to the outside. You to the window, you're like well i might as well go out the door this book is meant to be read with your feet in the grass i can't wait to do us do story times myself yeah. where we take a little field trip down the front steps the, yeah. and into the yard and find oh. a little dandelion or blade of grass yeah gather All around right. it and read the book in the sunshine <laughs> yeah. that sounds amazing no absolutely yeah. and hopefully yeah please share that when you do it uh, but also like what do you have for the young artists out there you know because you're talking about using tools that kids use every day in the classroom or use every day at home so how do you turn using ev everyday seemingly everyday simple tools into magic like i've this. got some stuff <laughs> laying around my desk and you at home might have some stuff laying around your desk too uh or your kitchen table even i've got a spoon here that i stirred my coffee with this morning there's a roll of tape here's an er here's an eraser uh there's just stuff laying around my desk and i use this stuff as stencils anybody heard of a stencil before you guys know what stencils what stencils do I will show you. Check this out. Come on down to my drawing studio. Mr. All Obama, right. And, and everybody I will, else. I will still be able to share, but um, yeah. We're, please yeah, let's get just your continue our conversation. Yeah. Mr. Obama, I'm going to just start. I've got a colored pencil right here. I'm just going to start by making a mark. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. no. <laughs> uh, oh, I planned, I planned so much for this show and I broke the colored pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lovata, I can't do art now. My pencil, oh my, my pencil is broken. Broken. I'm so sorry, everyone. We were gonna do a great art, art time, <laughs> drawing time. I'm, I'm so sorry. Well, it's been great being on your show, Mr. Lovata. Thank what you for having me. Thank you for reading the book. I'm so sorry we couldn't draw today, everyone. I was gonna show you about stencils, but look at this. What, what do we do? What can we do I'm to so help? Sorry. All right. Well, thank. April Fools! April Fools! It's April 1st! I have way more colored pencils. Don't even worry. Okay, okay. back to the... I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it. Had to Poor do it. Sean, you had us sweating there for a minute. What's going on? All right, here we go. Let's talk about, let's talk about stencils. The first thing I'm going to use... I don't know what you have laying on your desk at home. Mr. Lamont, if you can see the comments, you can maybe tell me what people have on their desks at Absolutely. home. If you guys want to tell us what's laying around your desk that you might use as a stencil. I'm going to use this roll of tape first, okay? So what I'm going to do, there's a nice circle in the middle of this roll of tape, right? So I'm going to take a color and I'm just going to hold down this roll of tape while I sort of scribble inside this shape. It doesn't look like I'm being very intentional about what I'm drawing here right looks like i'm kind of making a mess inside this roll of tape still holding down this roll of tape and i'm taking a second color i've got a bit of a red here and i'm just going to make some lines through it i'm going to draw from the bottom of the roll of tape to the top of the roll of tape I'm trying to hold it down it might move on me a little bit but that's okay it's my second color i'm going to take a third color i'm going to take a little bit of a yellow here and i'm just going to sort of scribble in this roll of tape. Wow. Sean Harris, you're making a mess. It doesn't look like you're making much of art, does it? Now watch Steven. what happens, everyone, when I remove our stencil. Steven says he has a burrito. <laughs> All right. Put that, <laughs> plop that burrito down on your piece of paper. You can uh, scribble around a burrito, Steven. All right. Here we go. I'm going to remove this piece of tape. Watch. This is the magic, everyone. This is what we're here for. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's what stencils can do. They help you control the edges so you don't have to 
be so delicate with your lines. You don't have to have so much intentionality. You can kind of just follow the shape of the tools around you. Here I'm using the side of my pencil a little bit to make a bit of a stem. Look at this, we've got a bit of a flower. I've got some scrap paper here. This can be used as a stencil too, let's find out how. I'm gonna put the scrap paper around, just, just put it across the bottom of this stem right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make two bowls. I'm gonna make a bowl right here. I'm gonna go ahead and color that bowl in. I'm gonna make a bowl right here. This is kind of cereal bowls. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of cereal, Mr. Lamada? Oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah. would be my favorite? I think I think I just like the cornflakes. Actually, yeah, like I'll go with just the just, just the corn, yeah, just straight up cornflakes. Cornflakes yeah. is yeah. I go, Mr. How Lamont, about I go raisin bran, but I've got to be honest. My favorite cereal is Lucky Charms, but. I only have Lucky Charms every year on my birthday because I know they're not super <laughs> healthy for me. But on my birthday, I eat Lucky Charms. But what if you're like me and you have multiple birthdays? Ooh, well, I mean, <laughs> I need to figure that. I need to figure that out. So, Mr. Lamada, I have, I'm going to make my second flower here. I've got a quarter. I had a quarter on my desk. Right. I know. Don't be jealous of my riches. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to take this quarter. I'm holding down this quarter. <laughs> and I'm just going to sort of scribble around this quarter. Again, Sean Harris, that looks a little bit messy. I know. I know what you're thinking, everyone. I'm going to scribble around this quarter. And then I watch, watch what happens when I remove the quarter. Oh. Stencils, everyone. Isn't that cool? Okay, I'm going to take this yellow. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fill in. I'm gonna just going to make a scribbly circle inside of that stencil mm. shape right there. Isn't this looking cool? Isn't our, our stencils neat? All right, what else can I use? I have, I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna make some, some leaves for this one that we just drew here. So I'm gonna take my blue. You'll notice here, I'm not using green yet. I'll tell you why. I've got a bit of a, uh, what are these things called? Uh, 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 the things that you put on your nose when something smells. <laughs> clothespin. I mean, you hang clothes on a lot. Of yeah, clothespin. That's that right. Is. That's right. <laughs> you, Mr. Lamada, I tried to put a clothespin on my nose the other day. Uh huh. My nose, my nose is too big. It didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to get the extra large clothespin if I need to uh, <laughs> avoid any smells. So look at this, we've got, we use this clothespin ship right here to make a couple spines over here. What do you have on your desk? What's on your desk at home, everybody? Yeah, I see um, Madalena, Iron and Tudor say they have a roll of paper. A roll of, look what we can do with some paper. I've got some scrap paper right here. Yeah. I'm going to make a stencil and I'm not even gonna use scissors right now because I don't know if you have scissors on your desk. I'm gonna just tear a couple shapes out of this scrap paper I have right here. Maybe uh, mine has a drawing on the back of it, but maybe yours has oh. like, you know, some telephone numbers that you jotted down, the that your mom jotted down that she doesn't need anymore. I don't know what the scrap paper in your house looks like, but maybe there is some. You can go <laughs> ahead and use that, use that scrap paper, tear out a couple shapes and let's see what happens when we use this as a stencil. You'll notice I'm overlapping the shapes that I that I drew over here. I like to do that when I draw flowers because when you look out the window, when you go stand in nature, you see everything is kind of kind of connected. You'll see flowers growing out right. of grass, which are growing out of dirt, which are you know, and you dig down in the dirt and you find rocks and fossils. And so I like I like when I draw natural things. I like for everything to kind of get get all bunched up and close to each other. That's the cool thing about taking off our shoes and socks out there. And is that we actually get connected to all of the nature around us. When we get those, the soles of yeah. our shoes out of the way. And you can kind of, you can kind of get an idea of what it feels like. Yeah. To, to be, to be growing along with everything else out there. Right. So, and I, I like the way, I like Sorry, the way ahead. you did you did the because with the with the quarter 
Mm -hmm. The space was left in the middle. You went with the outside of the corner, but then we got right. we got the outside space sort of. But the, and then it ended up being the inside, and you cut. And then the other one that with the roll of tape, uh -huh. we went with the inside bit of it. So so many surprises, right? Oh. Yeah. Watch it. Watch this one. This one's gonna be cool too. So I just took that stencil that we did right here that right. we tore out. I'm gonna flip that the other way until it lines up and makes a symmetrical shape, which means the same shape we just saw, but but flipped the other direction. Yeah, and watch yeah. what happens when I fill in this side of the stencil. If our stencil moves a little bit, that's okay. That's just a surprise. There's all kinds of surprises that happen when we make art. And you know what? Like, I'll tell you a secret, Mr. LaMotta. I actually yeah. I actually like drawing and making art because I actually don't see pictures in my head. Oh. So I'll have an idea of some tools that I think would be cool to experiment with. But I yeah. don't actually imagine what, what my drawings are going to look like until I start making them. So draw making my drawings is what enables me to see what my ideas might look like. I don't know. I, I know that some people say like, oh, I picture what I want to do and then I and then I do it. But that's not how it works for me. I don't know if yeah. it works the same for you. <laughs> Have you seen my art? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. Are you drawing along with us right now? Not Are right now, but oh, right goodness. now. Oh, no. okay. my, my, my kids in the class, I was like, no, but you cannot draw. <laughs> I need to. I need to change my thinking. I need not to yeah, see. Yeah, maybe thing. maybe you need to get used to the surprises, you know, that happen. So I freehanded this this one on top here, over the top of our stencil like that. You see, you see. Okay, so I decided that I want to do one more thing here. I'm gonna I'm gonna just continue with um with with this clothes pin design. So I think it would be cool to to yeah. no pun intended close <laughs> right here. <laughs> I wonder All how right. Stephen is doing with his burrito. Please, Stephen, if you've done something with that burrito, send us a picture. Oh, there are going to be so many surprises <laughs> because, like, the 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 beans and the pico de guy are going to add some <laughs> right? colors and flavors. Oh man, um, <laughs> look at the last thing I want to do. I see some. There's a pop of red up here, so I actually just want to freehand. Yeah, a few, well, a few little berries and flowers down here. One last thing I want to show you here. You'll you'll notice I didn't use any green. When you go outside, what? there's a lot of green in nature, right? Look what happens. This is my secret weapon. This is in the book. I actually didn't use any green colored pencils either, but you saw lots of green, right? No ways. I used blues, shades of blues like you're seeing right here. And then you get this magic development trick. This is my big tip to you colored pencils artists out there. I've got my yellow pencils everybody have their yellow pencil and some blue on their drawings out there look what happens when we take the yellow and start coloring over our blues wow look at this <laughs> look at this it's like developing a photograph right in front of our eyes right look at that we can be so sloppy and it still looks so cool look at this look at this wow, oh, wow. look at this 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 photo, all the colors just developing, the yellow bringing out the sunshine, wow. feeding down on our drawing. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. <laughs> Boom. Everybody. Wow. These flowers grew out of our colored pencils and our fingers <laughs> and our senses and our minds. How cool is that? Wow. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I hope I hope everybody out there is drawing and following along, but that was amazing. What 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 shapes are the things on your desk gonna make? We didn't even make a flower with a spoon. Imagine the flower we no. could have made with a spoon. Wow. Yeah. Flowers growing wow. out of everything, out of spoons, out of clothes pins. So had you always drawn? Oh like how did how did you or how did you know that this was the thing for you? Yeah, I always I always like drawing. I always yeah. like drawing. Um and I and I always liked reading and um and I loved books with pictures and then books without pictures. I loved trying to draw the characters from those books. Yeah. No, and, we have uh, a this is, this is like a mini gallery right here. 
Lots of, <laughs> lots of paintings in this is amazing. But, Thank you. Yeah. So, and but how did you then come up with your style? Because your style is very distinct. Like you look at whatever pictures you've done, or even the one that I shared at the beginning of this. If you saw that, that was done by Sean Harris. So, yes. like, how, how did you, like, how did you? finally like shape your style or frame your style how you know like I, I don't even know the word to use for it like how did you that's a really good question i'm glad you brought up the 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 portrait that i did of you <laughs> I, I made the, i made that portrait of you with pieces of cut paper um and so i cut them out and i glued them together that yeah. style is called collage right so actually part of why i started using stencils with my colored pencils was because Using these stencils is also a form of, you know, multimedia collage. I like get these shapes that you get when you cut things out of paper. And so when I combined that style with the pencils, it started to feel like my work, you know? Yeah. I started to, <laughs> to, to get the sense of, oh, yeah, that's that's what my work look like looks like. And, yeah. and that's why when you use a new medium, um, you've got to play with it for a while before you figure out how you use it because the way that you make art with colored pencils is going right. to be a little different than the way sean harris does or genevieve mm -hmm. god about does like everyone mm -hmm. your style is going to be signature to you but it starts by learning the tricks that you see other people doing and trying to copy their style and eventually you find your own style uh, huh. yeah. which which brings me then chriselle here in long beach is saying like Eric Carl. So how does it feel for you when you're compared to greats like that? Or like, you know, <laughs> as you're developing your style too, but I, you know, like how, how. Yeah. How I mean, Eric start? Carl was a huge reason why the, why I wanted to start playing with cut paper and my style does, did end up looking different than Eric Carl. He, Eric Carl uses a lot of um, overlapping textures and paints on the, on the colors and shapes that he cuts out. And so I just went, I just started using just totally plain paper, making it very blocky and bright and colorful. Um, but of course, when I started out, my, I, you know, I tried to make it look exactly like Eric Carl because that's how you learn by emulating the art that you like and then you find your style. So yeah. ne no. never feel bad for like, for tracing something or copying somebody's art um, to get started and figure out what how to how to do drawings that appeal to you you know when you see yeah. art that you like then you know oh that's a road that i want to start traveling down right right you know wow yeah. and um you know this one is not related to your work but racquetball has come up <laughs> amanda brought up racquetball so <laughs> who is the champion what is this <laughs> mr lamada <laughs> one one year ago, almost one year ago to the day, I played Mac Barnett at racquetball at the Oakland YMCA uh -huh. for the last time since we've been in our houses sheltering and making sure everybody is as safe as can, as can possibly be with masks. Yeah. Racquetball, for anybody that doesn't know, is kind of like tennis but indoors in like it's like tiny tennis but not ping pong because that's kind of tiny tennis it's like mm -hmm. uh it's you play it in a space about the size of uh oh uh uh it's like a, a square room you're in a square yeah. room there's there, there's six there's four walls a ceiling and a floor and you just smash a ball against the wall it goes really fast you kind of all the walls are like painted white and you sort of lose your space and, and <laughs> your orientation and like yeah. some sometimes you just run right into a wall when you're going for the ball it's really really fun game but it's indoors in a small space so it is small. not safe for the covid times yeah so, i grew up watching squat yeah. how is okay, that yeah. different i think it's very i think it's very similar to mm. be honest i might be playing racquetball with a squash racket <laughs> 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 I'm not sure how to tell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we we play. Me and Mac Barnett play racquetball every week at the Oakland YMCA. We have a match, 
And it just so happens that the very last time we played a year ago <laughs> indoors, I beat Mac Barnett. So you're having a good run. I'm having the best <laughs> as the racquetball king of the Oakland YMCA. It used to go back and forth and we would, the crown would change hands week by week. But for one year, everyone, undisputed <laughs> champion of racquetball at the Oakland YMCA. Oh, well, Mark, we feel for you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But, Sean, what do you have? What, you know, like, what wisdom do you have for the kids out there? You know, those looking at you and looking at your material and just being like, I want to be like this guy. Well, you know, pretty much everything that I learned about art, I learned from being a kid. And now that I get to go and read my books to kids and draw with kids, I learned so much from drawing with kids. You guys have you guys are so close to the source of creativity you know everything that all of these techniques and tools that i have that actually might put me farther from the core of what makes art great so when you pick up that pencil and you just start drawing you start coloring you start making these things all the 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 ideas and tricks there is nothing that you can do that is possibly wrong it's all experimentation mm. and art and expression and i learned i learned all of my good tricks from watching kids draw with me so i'm really lucky yeah. to be able to make books with kid for kids and yeah. draw with kids yeah yeah and and also you know like i know i, I I've, I've said this word multi-talented and i know you know like it's not an empty word you are multi-talented and so like i know there's other things that you've done too would you want to share those uh well me and me and my oldest friend and racquetball enemy mac barnett made a we made a cartoon um it is called the first cat in space ate pizza it's also on youtube where maybe some of you are watching this show so you can go ahead and search that it's a 12 part cartoon that me and mac made over zoom when we started when we couldn't see each other for the yeah. last year we started making weekly cartoons and actually we are now adapting that cartoon into not one book, but two books that are going to come out. The first one comes out a year from now and the second one comes out a year after that. They're going to be graphic novels, 300 page graphic novels. These are the oh, longest wow. illustrated books that I've ever made. Yeah. Here's, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show that you. Sounds amazing. Here's a drawing from one world premiere. Here's a drawing of the oh, first head in space. Walking. Wow. I mean, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And then music. I've heard music too. Yes. We made an album. The First Cat in Space <laughs> is also an album. If you go to the first cat in space dot com, you can, you can, there's links to listen to our music. I made me, yeah. I made Mac Barnett into a musician into <laughs> on the album and wrote lyrics. Of course, he's an author. He's going to write amazing lyrics. Amazing so lyrics. Fun right. To make an album with my oldest friend. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. So. It's it's been great honestly like just um watching just following what you do and also what Mark Mark does and I feel like we can't talk about you without mentioning Mark now. So you know like <laughs> That's that's right. You know. I've, I've I've been in his shadow since we were kids. Actually we were I, we were kind of both in the shadows. We met playing on the same soccer team when we were seven years old. Actually, oh, wow. check this out. It's funny. I just have this laying here. This is me and Mac Barnett when we were seven <laughs> years old. Just the short shorts. They were very in style at the time. <laughs> They're actually is back that... in style, everyone. So if you're laughing at my short shorts, just wait. Wait till summer. There's going to be some short shorts out there. So. Yeah, it's like some Franz Beckenbauer or something. Right? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, uh, but we were, no, we were no good at soccer, so we had to move on to writing and illustrating. Well, you're amazing at what you do. I absolutely love it. And I think, you know, like we, it's it's been an honor having you here. Thank you so much. Thank you so and much for having me. And thank you so much for reading the book. The, the uh, honor was 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 felt this way as well it's so cool to hear the <laughs> debut from mr lamada yes, yes. So cool. 
Oh my goodness. Please look out for this book. Check it out at your local library once it's out. And of course, yes, those beautiful flowers that were made today. I hope you were doing something at home too. Follow it along and you've learned just like uh, I think Madalena Ayan was saying, thank you for the great tips. I think that's what we want to leave with here. Like people gaining that, you know, being armed with a tool that you can use um, to create amazing stuff. But yeah, Sean, it has been such an honor having you here. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. Thank you, Mr. Watson. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye, I just feel like we could go on forever. But yeah, no, thank you so much. And uh, well, hopefully as we are opening up soon. Uh, well, I don't know if you want the games to be back, the racquetball games to be back. <laughs> or if you I'm want good, to. I'm good. No, I'm if you good. want. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. I, can't, I can't wait to see my friends again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome. No, this has been great. Well, everybody that joined in today, thank you for joining in. And remember, too, that you can find Storytime back on uh, our recordings. Do check it out. Here, we, we had amazing time. And, of course, Sean did amazing work. Please go back and check the technique. See if you can try it yourself at home. But this has been story time for today. And we're going to end right here and just say thank you. I wish you nothing but the very best where you are. Nothing but love. Please remember that you play a part. Every little thing that you do counts to making this world a better place. Not just for you, but for everybody. Even what seems like a simple flower, a simple thought is something that definitely gets us thinking and challenges us to be amazing people, better people, one step at a time. Thank you for joining me. Much love from me. And of course, the amazing Sean Harris here today. We'll see you again on Storytime tomorrow with another guest here from Chronicle Books who will be here, who have been supporting Storytime from day one. And we're glad that we were here to celebrate their spring releases, including the one that we just read today. So go back and check it out. Please pre-order and find it in all places you buy your books. Thank you so much. Much love. Bye-bye. <laughs>